Next to me is the 2010 Ferrari California. And here's why I call it the Ferrari California. Number one, if you cover the Ferrari badges, this looks like a really cool Chrysler Sebring. Number two, these rather bland five spoke wheels that I'm pretty sure they used to sell at Pep Boys. Number three, quite possibly the biggest supercar no-no, non-functional air vents. Number four, you couldn't cover that up or at least paint it red. At least they only put it on one side of the car. Number five, Ferrari decided that it was a good idea to put the badge on the top of the trunk. The badge is typically go on the back on every other car in existence. Number six, the trunk weighs about two tons. So naturally the hydraulics don't work. And number seven, I can't fit in the trunk and I can fit in the trunk of a GT4 RS. Wow. No, I thought I could, I actually thought I could fit in it. This might be the first supercar trunk I haven't fit in. Am I getting big? Number eight, you have a Chrysler infotainment system, some of the cheapest climate controls and no cup holders, but you do have a cigarette lighter in case you want to take up smoking. Number nine, you do have back seats, but you're not sitting in them unless you're a toddler.